let's answer the question. <clears throat> Does the polynomial 3x squared plus 5x plus does the polynomial equation 3x squared plus 5x plus 9 equals 0 have any integer solutions? So the answer is no. Let's assume first. So sometimes you have to look at two different possibilities. The first possibility is x is even and x equals 2 <coughs> times t for some integer t. So we have 3 times 2t squared plus 5 times 2t plus 9, which is equal to 12t squared plus 10t plus 9, which is equal to 12t squared plus 10t plus 8 plus 1. I'm going to factor out a 2 here. So this would be equal to 2 times 6t squared plus 5t plus 4 plus 1. And is this number even, odd, or you can't tell? This is going to be odd. So we have 2 times an integer plus 1. We can just say which is odd by definition, since 6t squared plus 5t plus 4 is an integer. Why does this help me? Well, I'm looking at whether or not this can be equal to 0, but 0 is even, because 0 is 2 times 0. So 0 is even. And 3x squared plus 5x plus 9 is odd. We cannot have 3x squared plus 5x plus 9 equals 0 because they have opposite parities. This side is odd. This side is even if x is odd. We've shown that if x is an even integer, my apologies. We've shown that if x is an even integer, then this cannot have an integer solution that's an even x. And now we can look at case 2. And we can assume, we can look at the possibility that x is odd. So then we would have x is equal to 2 times q plus 1 for some integer q. Then we have 3 times 2q plus 1 squared plus 5 times 2q plus 1 plus 9 is equal to 3 times 4q squared plus 4q plus 1 plus 5 times 2q plus 1 plus 9, which is equal to 12q squared plus 12q plus 3 plus 10q plus 1 plus 9, which is equal to 12q squared plus 22q plus 13. I'm going to go ahead and, and rewrite this. Okay, so we're going to continue on the next page. I continue on the next page. Are there any questions about what we're doing here or how we got this string of calculations? I'll give you just a moment to, to copy it if you wish. Although you can also watch the video and copy it from there and, and do it. Okay, so now what we want to do is we just want to finish this out. So we'll, we'll say notice that 12q squared plus 22q plus 13 is equal to 2 times 6q squared plus 11q plus 6 plus 1. Consolidate the writing just a little bit. I can say, which is odd, 6q squared plus 11q plus 6 is an integer. 3x squared plus 5x plus 9 is odd, because that's what we started with, and cannot be equal to 0, which is even. So it's a little bit long. It's definitely the most complicated thing we've done and will probably do for a while. You can show that there's no way that you have an integer that will make this number be equal to 0.